What's up everyone, Nick here from TV Box Stop and welcome back. Today's video features the latest release from PixThink, part of the Vivibrite group of companies dedicated to delivering projectors with a focus on style and innovation in a small and portable form factor while at the same time delivering great display quality. Introducing the PixThink D100. This is a native 1080p projector compact into a small form factor with features that will surprise you. For example, you can use your own wireless air mouse to navigate its interface and it has dual internal speakers with surround sound options. So as usual, in this review, we take a look at its design, its user interface and features and I'll set it on a projector screen to test its display and sound quality and you'll get to decide whether this projector is the one for you. So that's up next, stay tuned. So this D100 features native 1080p resolution. It has an LED brightness of 6500 lumens. Its display type is LCD and its light source is LED. It has aspect ratios of 43 and 16 to 9. It has maximum viewing distance of 21 feet that produces a 300 inches display. Its optimal viewing distance for small rooms is 11 feet that produces a 100 inches display. It has digital horizontal and vertical keystone correction, digital zoom, and 4D 4P corner keystone correction. It has built-in dual 3W 2Ohm speakers. It has a single band 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi only. Bluetooth audio for external Bluetooth speakers and for you to use it as a Bluetooth speaker itself. It can be mounted to a tripod or ceiling mount. It has 30,000 hours of lamp life and its contrast ratio is not listed anywhere in the manual or its product page. So in this package contains the D100 itself. You get a stylish remote control. It has one AC power cable, a lint-free cleaning cloth, and a quick start guide. This model has a very compact design with the projector lens, an IR sensor, and its exhaust fan to the front. For connecting ports, it has one HDMI port, one USB 2.0 port, a rear-facing IR sensor, a headphone jack, its AC power inlet, and its intake vent to the rear. To its left side, it has an internal speaker, and to its right has another internal speaker. At the top is where you will find its focus adjustment wheel, a slot for your mobile phone, and an LED illuminated power button. And below this projector has two anti-skater rubber pads, a screw hole for mounting to a tripod or ceiling mount, and a compartment for hosting your Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire Stick and other streaming devices that are small enough to fit into the allotted space. The included remote uses a pair of AAA batteries. It has a stylish design with a power button, a mute button, a direction pad with an OK button to the center, a back button, a menu button, a corner keystone correction button, a projection direction button, and volume controls. When you start up this projector, it starts with a PixThink splash screen, then it takes a moment to boot into its firmware, then you are presented with its main menu. The D100, I can tell you one thing for sure, has a wider display size than most 1080p models you see on the market today. Currently, it's set at 7 feet 2.1 meters from my projector screen and by default, it's projecting a 74 inches display which is larger than my projector screen. At this distance, most other 1080p models usually project a 60 inches display. For me to get it to focus within the parameters of my projector screen, I have to adjust the zoom. So here we are at its main menu and it's somewhat different from other menus seen in similar models where all the displays on the main screen are options to mirror your mobile devices via AirPlay and Android screen share. It has options to select the signal source whether via HDMI or USB and you have the settings area. The settings area is divided into five sections and under projection settings, you can adjust the projection mode. You can adjust a zoom. You can digitally adjust vertical and horizontal keystone correction.
you can adjust its corner keystone correction. And you can reset all keystone corrections to default settings. Under Network Settings, you can connect to your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band only. This means it will not recognize your 5 GHz band. Under Bluetooth is where you can control whether you want the Bluetooth on or off. And once it's turned on, you can scan to detect nearby Bluetooth devices. Or you can connect to it and use it as a Bluetooth speaker. A new feature in this model is the ability to switch the theme or launcher for more of a better word, seeing that its firmware is Android, so it's more like you are changing its launcher. You also have the option from its main menu to change its wallpaper. Under the other settings, you can choose which input source you would like the projector to boot directly into upon startup. You have a power on mode. You have the option to enable or disable its navigation key sounds. You can adjust its screensaver feature. You have sleep timer settings under the option labeled shutdown. You have 11 different languages to choose from. And you can restore the factory default settings. Under About is where you can view the firmware version, and it's also where you can perform a firmware update via USB. To access its picture and sound settings, on the remote, you simply press the menu button and a left pop-out menu will appear. From this menu, you can change its color mode, its color temperature, its sound mode, you can enable or disable its surround sound feature. You have some more sleep timer settings. And another shortcut to access zoom and corner keystone correction. There are no manual buttons on this projector, and we have seen in other models where in the event that the remote is lost or stopped working, there is no way to control the projector or navigate its menu. In this model, due to PixThing's research and development, they ensured that you can navigate their model by plugging in an alternative remote via USB dongle or you can connect via Bluetooth. They also enabled the ability to navigate using a mouse cursor. When it comes to decoders and playing media directly via its USB ports, the D100 can only play 1080p videos without surround sound formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio. I attempted to play 4K videos but there is only audio with no display. For playing music, photos and text documents, all of those media types play without issues. For mirroring your Android and iOS devices, it has Miracast and AirPlay. However, where on most projectors you would simply use your Miracast or iOS Cast app to mirror your device, on this model there is only one app you can use to mirror your device and that is the eShare app. You first have to open the Wi-Fi settings and connect the projector to your Wi-Fi network. And your mobile device also has to be connected to the same network. 
Then go to the Google Play Store or iOS Store and install the eShare app. Once installed, you simply open your preferred method of screen mirroring on the projector, whether that is Android or iOS. And once you are on the screen with the illustration, you press the OK button again on the remote to bring up the eShare QR code screen. You then scan using the eShare app on your mobile phone to begin mirroring your device. With the eShare app, there are many options to navigate, control, and mirror your mobile device to the projector. Another way you can mirror your mobile phone is using a USB Type-C hub connected to its HDMI port where you can enjoy the phone's desktop mode on the display. A premium feature of the D100 is its ability to play official streaming devices such as the Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV Stick, the Xiaomi Mi TV Stick and other official streaming dongles that can fit into the allocated compartment below this projector. The D100 has Google Widevine with HDCP protection to play premium movie services in HD 1080p with audio, something other projectors have difficulty doing. Beasts far beyond the horizon risking their lives to rid the seas of those nightmare creatures. And the greatest of the hunting ships is the inevitable. And, and the greatest of the hunters is Captain Crow! I will now fine tune its settings and connect a high end Android TV box and play some 4K videos and have it downscale them to 1080p to test the quality of its display and surround sound audio feature from its dual internal speakers. A win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou. Here's a look at the quality you get when it's applied to 3D gaming. And as mentioned, it comes with Bluetooth feature, so I'll now connect it to my 7.1 audio receiver for a cinematic audio experience test. Every night, I dream the same dream. Everything's strange. 
the compartment allocated below for hosting your Amazon Fire TV Stick, Chromecast, and other streaming dongles. Though it's a great feature, I had some difficulty in getting some of the dongles to fit comfortably with their USB power cable plugged in and getting the cover to go on. So I would recommend that you simply connect it to the HDMI port behind the projector. For fan noise, from a distance of 1 meter, it registered 48 decibels of noise with its exhaust fan facing forward. In summary, the D100 has more features than most standard 1080p models and is compact and portable to suit any indoor or outdoor occasion. Please keep in mind, this is not a full-size model and its lumens are not as bright, only 6500 lumens, so it's recommended that you use it preferably in low light settings. So friends, that brings to an end my review. The D100 is currently available on Amazon for $109.64 with an additional $40 discount coupon which further reduces the price to $69.64. So take advantage of this limited time offer before stocks run out. Please note, links in the description are my affiliate links and using them to purchase or just to simply view the product to check out its current price supports this channel directly and provides the means for me to acquire new products for review. So I sincerely thank you in advance for using my links. So go ahead and smack that thumbs up button if you like this product and if you are a supporter of this channel. A special thanks to my sponsors over at Pixting for sending me this projector for review. If this is your first time reviewing one of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell to receive notifications as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.